When we're looking at doing percent problems, one of the things I like to do is write this little setup so that you understand how to write these. So we do is over of, and then over here, this is gonna be set up as a proportion, and then we put our percentage over 100, because everything is always out of 100%. So we're looking at questions like this. It says, what percent of the 126 is 22? So when you see the word is, is goes with that number. That means that that is where you place the 22 in the numerator. And then the 126 is the of. So you're gonna place it down in the bottom where 126 belongs. Now we're trying to figure out what the percent is. So we can call that X and we can go ahead and solve our problem. So what you would wanna do here is we're gonna do some cross multiplication. So we're gonna multiply this side right here and then we'll multiply this side to here. Now I'm gonna just change this to x so that we have a variable. So obviously the 126 times x, we're gonna not know the answer to it. So we have 126 x. And then over here should be some basic simple math. We're just gonna do 22 times 100, which is 2200. And then we can go ahead and solve. Now these are always gonna be the same types of things. Multiply, multiply, set them equal, and then divide because this is a multiplication. We're gonna divide, and then the problem also does ask us that if it does come out to a decimal, that we are going to change it to the nearest tenth. So we're gonna get x is equal to, let's see what we got. And we're gonna just use a simple calculator, so nothing crazy. So we're gonna do 2200 divided by 126. And you can see we have this answer right here. Now, we're running to the nearest tenth. This is super duper important that we're looking at it. This is 17.46. I want to look at the tenth. The tenth place is the four. So we know it's either going to be four or it's going to round up to five. This is a problem people have all the time. So when we're dealing with these, you do want to look at that six. That's the hundredths place. You want to check that. And if we're looking for the tenths, we need to look at the hundredths place to decide what we do with the number. Since it is a six, it's higher than five. So we would take that number and we we'll round that to a 17.5. So my finalized answer here is 17.5%. And that would be my finalized answer. If you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at you want algebra. All these are gonna be located in the Are You Ready for Algebra 1 playlist. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me for more.